Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're looking at Cafe Au Lait Stout from Mud Bug, Mud Bug Brewing of Thibodeau, Louisiana. This beer I bought at the 504 stores, also sold at Matherns. It's 5.6% alcohol, 31 international bitterness units. Uh, they don't say much about it on their website. I do notice it's a stick-on label with the seam. A lot of these smaller, poorer craft beer companies will have just, they'll just buy the blank cans and stick the labels on. Sometimes they don't do such a good job. And they're like crooked or whatever. This one they did all right. All right. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. And there's only, what, five written reviews that I could find on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer? Not enough for a score. I've never had it. Um, I like milk. I like stout. I like coffee. So, there, there are videos about how to make a cafe au lait. Notice that. Um, so, the appearance is dark, dark brown. A beige head. In this light, I just see dark brown, just like mud. I'm trying to pick up, yeah, I th when the light hits the edges, I can pick up tan chunks all throughout, definitely. Um, I have some O'Brien brand smoked sausage links, Cajun style. Uh, you know, Cajun style, I better go put this in the fridge. Cajun style can mean... advertisement on the radio, information commercial on the radio. Yesterday I heard from the Department of Agriculture talking about put food in the fridge as soon as possible. So many people die every year from food poisoning and not to mention the just how many get sick from it. And they said a lot of times it's just because they're leaving food out. Uh, Cajun style means many things to many people. Um, I guess that got popular back in the 70s, 1970s. Now it seems that it just means they put some red pepper in it. <laughs> um, okay. Luigi Vitelli beans, white kidney beans. I bought the white, the red, and the black, so I figured I'd go light to dark. Uh, product of Italy. This is an importing company. They import all their products from Italy. Their headquarters is in New Jersey since 1885, Luigi Vitelli. So I cut up the, I heated it up real nice and I cut up the sausage and the um, beans and try not to spill it. And I put some chunks of um, uh, <clears throat> Swiss cheese and a bunch of yellow onions already prayed. Uh, so, put the rest of that great value hot sauce on there and some black pepper. So I'm going to break open, break open some new hot sauce next video that I have food pairings with. Okay. It smells, um, and I had some salad before in case you think I'm only eat, I'm not eating any greens. It smells like roasted, like a coffee stout, milk stout. They used to lactic sugar. I don't know if it's going to beat Samuel Smith's, uh, what, their coffee, their, um, no, do they have a milk stout? They have the oatmeal stout and the chocolate stout. Left Hand Brewing has that milk stout and the nitro milk stout. Those are really good. Strong coffee taste. Now, Maria and I had the coffee lager from FX Matt Brewery under their Saranac line. That was really delicious. Much lighter body than this stout. Oh, yeah, you can see it got, you might be able to notice it got a lot browner when I did the swish and pour. So now it's more like a chocolate brown. Whoa. It's not super aromatic, really. It's kind of low-level aromatics, but the flavor is just strong and rich and wonderful. It's probably two and a half or three 
hop, three out of five hop cones, and it's probably four out of five sugar cubes on the Cyclops scale. It's pretty bitter, but it's not too bitter. 31, it seems less than that other beer I had a few days ago. It was 25 IBUs, but different type of beer. Velvety mouthfeel, kind of at the lower end of heavy. The finish is kind of sweet. A little powdery, though, powdery in it for some reason. Um, just wasn't expecting that, honestly. Uh, well, I'm just pouring all, all the sediment. I don't know if you've ever had Cafe au lait. Mm, oh, yeah, just chunks. I mean, it's huge globs of white yeast. Globs, globs. Coffee, strong coffee. More coffee than the milk, but the milk is there. The milk sweetness is there. Mm. Got some of that Swiss cheese. Um, I know they had mud bugs on draft for a long time now. It's on in cans uh, also. Their website is useless. Uh, it shows a picture of two cans and gives no information. They did have some information on Crescent Crown Distributing's website. Minimal, minimal information. The more I drink it, it seems like the body is not as thick as it first. As first impression indicated. Okay, so we'll say high medium. Okay, high medium. It's not a heavy beer. Just rich. If you like rich, chocolatey, I mean chocolatey, dark brown bread, milky, coffee, strong, rich, bitter coffee flavors with the mouthfeel I described, this could be one for you. I think it's fabulous. I thought it was going to be like, eh, it'd be all right. It is really great. And the price was good. I peeled the sticker off, but the price was low, you know, relatively low for a single, like dollar seventy-five, something like that. Hey, 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 this is an A plus. Let's try some of that Cajun style sausage. Mm-hmm. Rich, meaty, siren, siren, oh, salty, herbal, oily, a little. Hey, with that coupon, it made the sausage, the two packs I bought, very inexpensive. Outstanding, an A plus beer from Mudbug. I'm excited to try the next one. Lazy Le Bonton Relay. Y'all come on down to New Orleans.